Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to... Oh, I forget the name of the game. The Talos Principle 2. I, I, my brain immediately went to Terraria for some reason. Um, welcome back. A safe space in which we be awesome, where I'm uh, having some fun. Puzzles in this game are great, and I'm enjoying the game itself. Um, we have, of course... Shit, alright, we got some stuff. Please do not respond, I value my privacy. To all, uh... To all of you on this expedition, I'm sure you have questions about the Somnodrome, but I'm afraid I can't answer them. It was a dream I had a long time ago when I was a different person. It's long since faded. I did build a prototype of sorts, at least of one part of its systems, but none of it ever functioned the way I wanted it to. Whatever Athena may have done with my invention, the truth is that I, I'm simply not interested in the affairs of New Jerusalem anymore. I care as little as Byron's utopianism uh, for... Byron's utopianism, as I do for Herman's religious pessimism. Um, I'm not sure I care about anything at all, really. In fact, I think not caring may be the only answer. At the end of the day, everything is transient, even the self. I've learned to let go. Please not respond to value my privacy. We haven't let go entirely, then, by the sounds of it. Anyway, so it sounds as if uh, th this guy noticed, is just like, yo, you talking about me? And is just like, hey, look, I, I get it, but fuck off. I got my own life. I don't want to be involved anymore. Which, you know, respect. It's not what I'm about, but I respect that it's what you're about. Reconnaissance. Well, let's go do some then. Alcatraz is way up fucking that way. Wow, there's a lot. Oh, okay, right, right, right. There's a lot of fucking reconnaissance to do. Right, I forgot it's not a normal connector. Okay. Now I can go in here to check things out. Look, it's that thing I do in every fucking map. Reconnaissance. Oh, interesting. Okay. Because the end result is red. So what I think I need to do is I think I need to get blue. And I think I need to get red. And this will give me green. If I connect both. So, oh, this is melting my brain a little. I need to accumulate green is what I need to do. I don't know why this is here, then. Seems like an odd thing. But, we got it. Okay, we got everything we need. We got a blue source, a green source, and a blue and green uh, thing. So we're going to do this way the fuck back this way. Suddenly we got blue. Oh, shit. Okay, we need that and that to make that then. There we go. 
gets the job done. I'm glad to see all those overloads haven't damaged your logic circuits. No, no, I got this. I got this. I'm, I'm good at the puzzles. It doesn't matter how smart I am. This just seems like an odd choice to me, then. Why include this as an element? A puzzle element? Why, why have a force field at all? If all I was doing was just getting that, why could I not... Hmm. I don't know. Something must have come up in testing for that one. Or maybe nothing came up is why it was still there. Honestly, I couldn't even begin to tell you. The way people... The reason people do things is, is beyond my comprehension half the time. It just seems like an odd detail. When, when you're doing puzzle games, you have to pay attention to the small shit, right? Because, like, every element of the puzzle is always an active element of the puzzle. Nothing's just thrown in for the sake of it, right? It's always relevant in some way or another. I don't think this is seven. This is not seven. This is definitely beautiful, though. So where the fuck is seven, then? Maybe I read the the locator wrong here. Yo, you cute. What up? Seven. Well, it's not pointing that way though. It's pointing that way, not that. Whatever. Okay. This is deeply, deeply, holy shit, upsetting me. Fuck my everything. Okay, so we have access to blue and red. Let's get green in here. All right. So, we got green. It's kind of annoying, so we're just gonna do that. And that one is just that and that connected to there. do this or perhaps and hear me out on this one what if we connected that only to here this is connected like that to there is no green okay green is on the outside then This will become blue. Blue, red, and then also just that. There we go. <laughs> it's nice, it's pretty. I was gonna say, technically I don't need that there, but I actually genuinely do. All right, well, that's seven completed. Bam. Which is all eight of them. But that isn't me being done, and you know that for a fact. I gotta do all eight numbers. Just how I do things, man. I can't not. I have to, it's required. Eight is here, but it's blinking me towards the other thing. Remember. Oh fuck, that's the worst thing you could have said right there. Alright, so where does this take me? Right, it doesn't work that way. Mm. 
Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Something, something, something. Gunpowder. There's a cube. And there's what seems to be the exit. Which is connected to that. Oh my Christ. All right. Eh, honestly, whatever works. Okay, baby. Love to see it. Now, what does that accomplish, out of curiosity? Oh, it's another way to do the, uh, the thing. Now, what I need is a source. And I can't do that if I do this. Okay. So I gotta remember something in order to in order to what? Huh? You know? Maybe this is what we're looking for. That way I can pull the source out right here. Meaning it doesn't matter if I remember or not. Remember, remember the fuck. 5th of November. Something, something, gunpowder treason. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. I am so glad I'm not in charge of solving these. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. I'm amazing. There goes that in the direction of where it should be going. Oh, wait, is there any other uh, question marks I missed? Fuck, there is. This might be the other triangle puzzle, honestly. I didn't exactly explore properly here. No, that looks like something else. Hang on. Where the fuck are you going? Alright, we're doing this now. Which I don't mind. I'm, I don't mind this. This is fine. Fuck. There goes that. Wait, no, hang on, hang on. And also the, uh, the question mark leads to there. I'm just following along. I don't know where the fuck this thing is taking me. I mean, I know where it'll eventually lead me, but I don't know where it's going right now.
Okay, you better be going across the fucking water. Right, I'll meet you over there. It's it's a long ass journey for me. Here's a palm raider. Ooh, sound, thank god. Love me some sound files. One of the most foolish illusions that commonly persist All right. is that nature is a victim and humanity is a perpetrator. This can only be the opinion of someone who has not witnessed nature at first hand. And nature is fucking brutal. Seen its immense and awe-inspiring baseness. It's based. Nature is mind. Nature is based. And eternal conflict. A system of predation and consumption whose perfect cruelty can only induce a terrified and unwilling admiration. Nature yeah, I'm all for that. Most powerful and least honorable enemy. A beast that consumed every last one of our ancestors and will consume us just as quickly if we are not successful in our struggle with it. Nature is... First of all, nature is based. Can you get that on the shirt? Nature is fucking based. What I need is to know... Hang on. That everyone else knows that nature is... Like, not just cruel. It has no morals. It is amoral. Nature does whatever the fuck it wants at all times. And boom. Very nice. Fuck yeah, baby. Return to the past. Nah. But the future can redeem all that has happened. Also, nah. <laughs> you fuck up, that's it. That's all you get. What other question mark is that damn direction? Uh... Anyway, I discovered everything on that island, so we're chilling. Don't gotta be afraid no more. We got a big ass question mark this way. It's got to be the other triangle puzzle, right? Like it has to be. How many palm readers we got? Stop laughing at me, birds. I I'm very self-conscious. All right. Other triangle puzzle. Let's do these. Field of view. Alright, let's grab you. Bam. Grab you. Knowing this game is probably going to make me... Uh, it's going to require me to have fucking... Like, two blues or whatever. Or two both, apparently. How in the actual fuck am I supposed to do this? Oh, um... Wait, 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 can't do what I want to do. Oh, interesting. I can just go back. And I go back here as well. Oh, that's deeply upsetting. I can hit both blues from, like, in here. Which tells me... Oh, shit. There we go.
Eh. How do you fuck it? All oh, right, because the red isn't connected either. Ah, oh, goody. All right. Well. Now I'm fucking worse off here. There we go. And you connect to here to be like that. That work? It do. Cool. You get to look and it looks pretty good, not gonna lie. I just gotta not be in front of any of the uh, things. Any of the lasers for too long, you know? That was pretty fun. I like that. I like the, uh... I like the puzzles that give you, it, like, the accumulator thing. Because those are fun. Like, they, they challenge your abilities, you know? Anyway, I've done all of the puzzles. What I haven't done is both of the, uh, the gold stars here. I got one. Oh, and I'm gonna get the other one. This one might be actually be, like, a 100%ed area. Shit. Okay, hang on. I might be ready for this. A 100%ed area would be new for me. I've never done it. I've always done it. I've always had it. Never had it. Because I've always had it. <laughs> Alright, that's just the... Uh, no, that's not the gold area. We've already been to the gold area. Alright, Byron, what do you got? Hey there, 1K. What's up? Do you think the answers we seek exist within ourselves? Self-reflection is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But only thinking about yourself, your inner identity, becomes narcissistic. Mm, it really, you really exist. depends on the context. Do you like it or not, in a dialectical relationship with the world. Okay. Identity has no meaning without society. Gotcha. Society has no meaning without the individual. It's in that tension that we really come into being. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, th all right. That's all. <laughs> See ya. Later, nerd. Oh, yeah. If I look here, there is nothing left but the golden gate and the uh, the last thing. We got these things. The palm reader with the last little bit. Okay, we got Trevor, but let's see what we got. Consume. Oh, I don't want to read. Well, it's a question and answer. Hang on. From an interview with a protester outside the Institute of Applied Nomadics. Uh, so why did you join the protest? Artificial intelligence is inherently dangerous to this planet's ecosystem. Defending that ecosystem is our responsibility. That's not how people talk. Um, in which way is artificial and dangerous? Um, I'm not sure... I'm not some paranoid idiot imagining Skynet taking over the world, alright? That's science fiction. But we're, what we're talking about here is artificial intelligence. The, any of the attachment we have to the natural world is not capable of distinguishing between, say, an ore and a tree... Everything is just resources to it. People like Sarabhai and Drennan talk about ethics and philosophy, but they all embrace the same extra activist ethos uh, that has brought us to the brink of disaster. Their intelligent being would try to optimize the world in its image and in doing so consume it. Question, when blank. Uh, but so far they're saying it is all theoretical. That's not a question. The atom bomb was theoretical at first, too. Once someone is, something is there, someone's going to use it. Why couldn't they imagine that we might care about the world? I don't know. Maybe because they were too used to no one else caring. Oh! Oh! Oh, the fucking burn! Oh, it burns! Patience Journals, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 200. The construction of our new home is coming along nicely. We finished two new buildings last week. And this week we're st we started on our new lodgings. Athena and Cornelius have plans to erect a tower in the middle of the settlement, which will serve as the administration center, administrative center and new heliport. But right now, there's still uh, that's still a long way off. Decades at the least. It's hard to imagine that one day we'll be able to erect statues like that. Uh, that there will be enough of us to need that much space. 
But then I look at the dam and I remind myself, our ancestors built that with our their short lifespans and soft flesh and bone bodies. And then I think that there's no limit to what we can achieve given enough time, patience, and capacity to dream. Nice. Let's listen to some Trevor. Yo, Trevor's got... Trevor's where it's at, you know? Strap in. This is a long one. Gotcha. You may have heard the story of the carpenter who died to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story. Vaguely. Very sweet. Very human. And I just want to tell you that it's true. He was a real person. And his name was John. John, John Carpenter. Carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was born in the year 1948, and he was the coolest filmmaker to ever... I've heard of John Carpenter. From Halloween to The Thing to They Live, the totally underrated in the Mouth of Madness, mind you, he just made classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really smart. Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? A big, fat truckload of nothing. Well, <laughs> less than nothing. The studios, the critics, even the fans, they hated him. The Thing, okay, for example, which is about as perfect a movie as you can make, completely torn to shreds. And his career never really recovered. Every movie after that was a struggle. And after a while, he just got tired of it and quit. He only really came back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we never get because of that? Eh. I have a point here. People like Carpenter, people like Alex, they're not always appreciated in their own time. If you just do what's popular, you might never create anything important. Of course, we admire people who did the right thing, who didn't conform, but we only ever admire them after the fact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on, we got that too. It's to support people when it's difficult. Okay, Trevor, you fucking, you got words, man. I appreciate everything you just said. 1,000% of that was appreciated. All good times, all good tidings. Do I have to go to that? Tra Trevor, Tre Trevor talks about science fiction. All right. No, 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 I wanted this. There we go. Because there's a thing over there, but there's also a thing, like, right here that I need to interact with. Oh, no, that's that, but I need to go... I need to go check out that thing. Without drowning, of course. Let's go to the hop. Yes. We got seven now, and I'm feeling good about it. Okay. Ooh, we got a thing over here. We begin with the self because that is what determines our existence as individuals. Okay. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. Disagree. The citizen lives within the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. So now we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world and ask if man is like a machine could it be that the universe is similar in nature and if so what follows from that fact uh -huh. you're asking me a lot of questions sir i'm no dick let's go all the way though let's let's get to the fucking bottom of this Oh, nice. And then we got this to dinner interact with. Sometimes it seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans. Blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes. Shapes that have meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world, so full of suffering, and turn it into a work of... This is the only part of the path that isn't required. Nice. 
Nice. And before I go in there, I am getting the last thing. I am finishing this island forever. You cannot prevent me from doing so. It's happening, and I'm completing it. Then nothing will ever stop this. There you are. Now just return to the thing and then I'm done. I'm good for uh, this whole map other than the gold area, which I gotta return to. I am definitely going to figure out the gold area. All I gotta do is get enough of these flames and I'll be good for it, you know? I may do a strategy guide. I'm not entirely sure how I'll go about it. But I will eventually come back and do all the, the gold arch areas. You know? It's happening and there is nothing stopping me from making it, so... It will happen. If the fool persisted in his foolishness, would he become wise? <laughs> That's a fantastic question. I don't have an answer. Oh, hey, Melville, what's up? Uh, uh, I guess you don't want to talk to me, then. Also, it's the end of the episode. Yes? What's up? In my vision, Athena mentioned a singularity. Yes. <laughs> could be talking about a gravitational singularity. Like the point within a black hole where density becomes infinite and space-time breaks down. I think it's more of an intelligence singularity. That sounds insanely dangerous to be experimenting with. Fascinating, that must have been some incredibly advanced experiments. I assume there are safe ways of experimenting with this. I mean, I don't actually know that, but... It's been doing some incredibly advanced experiments. You're right. It is fascinating. You know... Our ancestors went to incredible lengths to try and understand reality. Yeah, we're trying. They built super colliders and sent telescopes into space to find traces of the Big Bang. I guess the founder was walking in their footsteps. Yes, I guess. Yeah, I can see that. I should get back to work. All right, but that ought to be for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go up that tower. We're going to talk to the thing. We're going to be in the next area, but that ought to be for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Kiwi. I'm going to have a delightful day. I love you all. Goodbye.